Hi, this is Vishal and again we are on the second session of the charts in the Kotlin and today we discuss about the line chart and uh, as you know that we discussed the bar chart last time there will be the sessions with the multiple bar chart and uh, how you can implement it in easy steps that's with the bar chart uh, that's in Kotlin and I already worked with the bar chart in the Java before two years so that's I already uh, provided the link there and today uh, we already discussed the Java chart line chart in MP Android so that's we uh, before a uh, year or two years maybe but I provide the link to you those working with the Java and today we discuss this line chart in a Kotlin because of many users want that and uh, if you discuss about the line chart that's very useful in company data whenever we have a uh, comparing of the sales cost and where we have uh, we, we, we check the company rise falls monthly yearly and also it's be working with the your uh, stock market that just as uh, you see that's one of the demo of my application that I'm working with the uh, stock applications so there so a lot of things uh, be there with the line chart and so discuss it one by one but in a easy steps today okay and uh, also uh, very thanks to you that uh, you put at the commands like share so the most important thing is that uh, whatever be your requirement you put it down in the commands that I will make a videos for that as I get a time for you and uh, many users doing that and thanks for them uh, because of uh, you can learn it okay uh, as soon uh, we will give you the new sessions channels that is related to MCBC courses that means we launch a new channel the name educator in which uh, we discuss about the course sessions like for the MCA uh, BCA BSC IT MSC IT this kind of learning phases in which uh, we discuss about the uh, digital maths operating systems networking that means all subjects that's be on the professional courses so that's my other channel so thank you so much and we carry on this tour with the android and let us started this align the chart in your uh, android studio so let us start it Okay, so let's just start in Android Studio and here as I talked to you last time that we need this MP Android chart. You can check the new versions video and here Maven, uh, that's URL. Okay, so now today we take a line chart as for the charting charts and now we have to start with this. So first we have to create a function in the Kotlin, how to make a, a line chart for that. Set line chart data okay so that's also be a very easy steps as we work with the bar chart the same process we follow be here so first we have to create the x axis values be here well x value that's your array list and that array list be a, a kind of a string okay and now we have to put that x values to that add and here we add the values be like a string format and uh, now we give the timings be here today that's your am and uh, you add maybe daily data you want to show that so that's your according to timings I'm giving to that <clears throat> so likewise okay just very simple example so one two three four five so that's your x values and now we have to go for the second step for the y values so here we need a val line entry and that line entry be that's your array list of here it provides us the entry okay so we have to put the entry kind of array list and uh, that's your line entry dot add that's your 
entry and that entry is be your as in a just like say 20 f comma zero indexing be here you can take it as an uh, looping as we discussed in the bar chart please uh, must watch that that's an important 60 70 10 30 indexing we are 1 2 3 4 so here the same data we have okay you can fetch it from the JSON also so that's your first you have to go for the line entries and then we have to go for your data set so you just make it as an a well line data set and that data set be is equals to your line data set and that set a data set be your line entry comma whatever be your label so you can put it as in a first label or whatever you want for that okay and here you can set your color also dot as we discussed in a bar chart so that your resources and uh, dot get color and that color be your r dot color dot whatever you want for that i want with a green color okay so that's the way you can work and now this line data set we have to put as in a data this is your first basic steps in which you have to learn and this is your line data and this uh, be your x value comma line data set okay and now once it's done then you have to go for your line chart dot data that's your data okay that fill our line chart and if you want to go for your background color also so you can set that set background color sorry line chart line chart dot set background color and uh, you can put that colors be like a copy paste and it must be white background because of that's clear be uh, the chart be clear on that okay and otherwise your choice and this is your line chart dot animate you can check it you give the animation x-axis and y-axis values that's it okay now we have to check what be the result now we go move for the second step for this chart okay so what be the result here so you can see that it's a very interesting it's simply data with the animation so that's your first look and we have to move on the other that's your stock chart there be a fill colors if you see that on the stock chart and uh, also be there is no circle of that and that case is what to do you can remove that circles either you make the radius zero or then you can set it off so i'm making the uh, line data set dot circle sorry circle radius be that's your zero f so that all circles become zero and your line data set dot set draw field so you can make it as an R true and uh, line data set dot fill color on that uh, particular draw field so i'm using light shade colors be here so light shade colors on yeah green shades color i have and here and this is your line data set dot if you want to uh, make it alpha down little so you can say that fill alpha and that's your whatever you want or i want 30 at this time or a 50 you can do that so it showed you with the light shades on that cases okay so that's the way you can make your chart be stock and if you want to uh, make it line data set dot your uh, 
uh, yeah cubic kind of so that means there is no certain point that means no um, we can say the pointed values be there remove it as in a uh, little rounded shapes so that's your cubic shapes we can say so that's the difference on that but i am first showing to you that's a simple line data set how it works on okay so let's see what be the result of this okay, let's see what be the result of this uh, stock kind of uh, chart we have so you can see that there is a shades green shade and this we are walking on without a circle so I think that's a very good chart whenever you work with a stock kind of applications. Okay, now uh, we have to move on your third kind of chart. Uh, that's your multi chart. So that means if there be the more than one line, so what to do? Uh, just hide it first. I don't want to go with this fill chart. Okay, so uh, for this, you need a multiple lines for that. So for multiple lines, you can say that you need uh, one more entry for the line. Just copy paste it or you can take it uh, from the array as uh, we discussed in the bar chart. You can see that. Okay. And this is your one, 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 one. You can make it like and uh, you can say 10 and this is your 40. This is your uh, 20 this is your 70 just do with uh, different numbers okay so that's the way we can add our line entry one and uh, here I want to be a different color set so line data set one you can make it and line entry one you can put it and on the labels you can say that is your second or whatever you want that that means your selling price or a cost price you can do that and this is your color ascent so that is okay color primary okay so you can do that some other color and uh, now for the line data what to do because of here it works with a single line data uh, set so we have to make an array list of well your data or uh, you can say final data okay uh, final data set you can make it okay and this is your array list and that error list I am making with your uh, your line data set okay so this is your line data set error list and you can add a, that data set values be here this is your line data set and just copy paste that number oh, sorry that values this is your final data set so this is your become a line data final set so here you can put your final data set and it gives you that you make your expressions be as in a list of i line data set so that's the way we can show our multiple lines here so let's see what be the result of this okay so let's see what be the result so you can see that both the line charts be working with this okay so you can cross check the things according to the months or timings what happened with that or uh, monthly data yearly data or you can make this um, x-axis be below of the chart okay so a lot of things be there and uh, in my coming sessions we'll discuss about the complete stock chart that we can say candlestick chart also we can work on and pie chart so just continue the tour and thank you so much for the day